everybody, Guitar Man 3YT here. Welcome to my third request video. This one was requested by another friend at work for Little Wing, and he wanted it in a lesson form. So I play the intro to Little Wing, and then I give a lesson on how I play it. It's not exactly the way Hendrix played it because he had huge hands. His thumb was probably two inches longer than mine, and his fingers. For the same, because he used to take his thumb and wrap it all the way around the neck, and he'd do bar chords using his thumb. I just can't do that. So this is kind of this is a lesson on little wing for people with smaller hands. <laughs> all right, hope you like it. Anyway, starts off with kind of a muted E, then the octave E with the E string and the B string together on the 12th fret, kind of like that, slide down, so you got, then he does a couple of little clicks, or it's more like that muted Then we're gonna hammer on, gonna be on the A string, hammering on the second fret, and the open G. Then we're gonna hammer in from the D to the E on the A string, and you're gonna bar with your finger across here, so it's gonna sound like this. And you gotta do to keep that same pattern and move up to the um, to the D string and do it. It's so gonna go the whole time your finger is barred here. Slide down to the G. Then we're gonna we go up here to the octave G. Same thing like we did here. We're gonna your E and your B strings together on the third fret. You're gonna hammer on to the fifth fret on the E string. So you're gonna go get this. You can do it like a full bark chord if you want. But you're gonna have to use your pinky to do that. Or I like to just hit it and then come down here and do it. Okay, now we're gonna do the uh, top half of a bar chord, which is these right here. Uh, G major. Then we're gonna, with our pinky, we're gonna hammer on to the fifth fret, third string, or the G string. Skip over 
to the third string on the fifth fret. And doing the same thing with a bar, barring your first finger. Hendrix did that a lot. So we got the open A. It'll land on the fourth string, seventh fret. Then we can do the seventh fret on the fifth string or A string A. here. This time we're going to hammer on from the E to the D. I mean, no, not D. Uh, for the 10th fret on the A string. So it's going to be the G string going from the E to the G. second and third string hammering on to the ninth fret hammering on to the uh, tenth fret okay now we're going to move down from B to B flat still using the major shape from B, B flat, down to A. at the seventh fret going up uh, two whole steps hammering or act one whole step actually excuse me then we're going to use our pinky and hit the uh, eighth fret on the A string Okay, then we're going to do the 
same thing, going from the A to the B. Back down to the G. Okay, now this time, what I do is I suck a bar chord, but you're going to take your pinky and put it at the fifth fret, first string. And we're sliding it up. Going from the G position to the A position, back to the G position to the F position. Have to slide and keep that pinky there. Okay, once you get that part down, then it's just a simple C chord with a little hammer on. Take your pinky and hammer on to the second string at the third fret. to a D bar chord major. And then we're going to do the same type of stuff here. Right there is the A string at the 10th fret. down to the D. And that is the intro. It is at the okay. And, and I'm not very good at uh, naming notes and all that stuff, but I hope that tutorial helped you. You can rewind it as much as you want. Hope it helps you. Remember, practice slow. Start off practicing slow and work your way up to speed. And practice, practice, practice. All right. Till next time. And like and subscribe.